European Parliament ordered to lock the Sussexes in the Tower of London for treason. Dr Starkey joined Nigel Farage on Tuesday to discuss Meghan and Harry's fate. Nigel began, Interesting, wasn't it? He talked about the Prince and Princess of Wales visiting Wales. No mention of Harry, no mention of Meghan. Are they effectively banished? David replied, Until there's a reconciliation, which seems infinitely unlikely, then the answer is yes. It was done, as it were by silence, the historian said. It wasn't done by explicit banishment. However, they could be locked up in the Tower of London by royal law. Nigel explains in Harry's memoirs, he made hair-raising confessions about his desire to destroy his father Charles in a car accident while he was driving a silver Mercedes. In other passages, he implicitly claims to arrange a plane crash to send the Cambridge family to heaven, that he will be the one to take over the throne. Aside from that, the Sussexes hate the monarchy to the point of spreading false news about the late Queen. Meghan Markle's Netflix documentary has been accused of totally misleading and misrepresenting what the Queen said in one of her most famous speeches. The Tower of London was built as a secure fortress and a symbol of royal power. Behind the castle's walls were storehouses for weapons and the royal mint, produced the nation's coins. It was also a royal palace with luxuriously furnished apartments and a menagerie of royal beasts. But the tower was also used to contain people who posed a serious threat to national security. In earlier centuries, it's been used as a royal residence in times of conflict, but its most famous function was that of a prison and a place of execution for people deemed a particular threat to the monarch, and therefore the state. With its fearsome reputation, the story of imprisonment at the tower is about traitors and gruesome executions. Most of us are treating Harry like he's just throwing a delusional temper tantrum, but with his most recent comments about the children, something really creepy occurred to me. He's talking about protecting the younger ones from being a spare, but Harry is no longer the spare. The impetus for Harry's turn against his family wasn't Meghan, but George's birth, and then Charlotte. And then it suddenly occurred to him the reality of his position in the royal family. Prior to this, and when it was just Catherine and William, the idea of becoming king must have seemed so far in the distance, so as not to matter. But then when the kids were born, Harry was basically eliminated from the line of succession. He thinks that the person who took his place isn't William, it's George. Now he's basically casting a child in the role of the villain, and acting as if he needs to protect Charlotte and Lewis from being the spare to Prince George. What's even more frightening is to realise that Harry seems to be escalating because what's changed? The Queen died, so now the shift in the line of succession has already started. He probably had delusional thoughts that he would be able to convince the Queen to get rid of William and let him become the next in line. Her father's doing this very thing, what led her to being Queen in the first place, so it's not unreasonable in Harry's mind that this could happen. William has warned him several times that he's not responsible 